we're diving deep into the history, the unique features, and what makes some of these coins so valuable. The 2021 D quarter was minted at the Denver Mint, which has been producing coins since 1906. This coin is part of the America the Beautiful series, marking the end of a long tradition of national park quarters that began in 2010. The 2021 series, however, introduced something new, the crossing the Delaware design on the reverse, a throwback to the famous image of George Washington leading his troops across the icy river. The front, or obverse, features the familiar portrait of George Washington. But the reverse design pays homage to one of the most iconic scenes in American history. It shows Washington standing strong in his boat, crossing the Delaware River during the Revolutionary War. This scene has been a symbol of American resilience and bravery for generations. In 2021, millions of these coins were produced and distributed across the United States. So, you might be wondering, with so many in circulation, how could any of them be worth millions? Well, that's where things get interesting. As with many coins, what makes certain 2021 decorders valuable are rare errors and varieties. Coins with striking errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or even planchet errors, can fetch a high price at auction. But there are some varieties that are exceptionally rare, turning these coins into must-have items for collectors. Recently, some 2021 D Mint Mark quarters with unique errors have sold for thousands, even hundreds of thousands, of dollars at auction. However, a select few are rumored to be worth up to millions. For example, a unique error involving a dramatic double die could make one of these quarters almost priceless. The million dollar value often comes from a combination of factors. Rare error coins with historical significance and pristine condition are highly sought after by serious collectors. Add a bit of mystery or intrigue, and you've got a recipe for a coin worth its weight in gold, or more. So, how can you tell if your 2021 decorder might be worth more than just 25 cents? Start by examining it closely with a magnifying glass. Look for any unusual markings, doubling in the lettering, or any signs of off-center strikes. A certified coin dealer can also help verify its value if you think you've struck gold. Who would have thought that a modern coin like the 2021 Decorder could carry such historical value and potentially be worth millions? So, the next time you're handed some change, take a closer look, you just might be holding a small fortune. We're diving into the fascinating story of the 2015 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Stick around to learn about the history, unique characteristics, and the surprising value that's made this coin a true gem for collectors. In 2015, the U.S. Mint continued its America the Beautiful series, which celebrates iconic sites across the United States. This series began in 2010, and each year, five new quarters were released with different designs to represent national parks and historic sites. The 2015 quarters showcased incredible designs, such as the Homestead National Monument in Nebraska, Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina, and Saratoga National Historical Park in New York. These quarters were minted with a P-mark in Philadelphia and are known for their beautiful details and impressive finishes. While most of the 2015 quarters are fairly common, there are a few rare variations that can increase their value substantially. Sometimes, minting errors occur, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or misalignments. These mistakes make the coin unique and drive collectors to pay a premium. Additionally, specific quarters from the 2015 P Mint batch were produced in limited quantities with errors that weren't caught during quality control. That means these coins are out there, perhaps in your pocket right now. So, how valuable can these coins be? While most 2015 P Mint quarters in circulation are worth just 25 cents, some exceptional pieces have fetched significant amounts at auctions. Pristine coins in mint state, those with error markings, or coins in proof-like conditions can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars to the right collector. Imagine discovering a coin that could go for hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. That's why it's essential to know what to look for in these quarters. Coins with high MS, mint state, grades, or unique error details are the ones that command the big bucks. Any signs of doubling on the inscriptions, misalignment, or unusual marks that might set your coin apart from the rest. 
a trained eye can spot these minor details, and that's why grading services are crucial when determining a coin's value. If you find a 2015 P quarter that looks pristine or seems unique, consider sending it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC. Their experts can provide a detailed assessment, which can significantly impact the coin's market value. The 2015 P mint mark quarter dollar may look like any ordinary coin, but with the right characteristics, it could be worth a fortune. As always, check your change and remember, every coin has a story and the potential for hidden value. We're diving into the history of a fascinating coin, the 2008 P quarter dollar. While it may seem like just another pocket change, this coin has a unique history, and some rare versions could be worth thousands, or even millions, to the right collector. So stick around to find out why this coin is so valuable, and how you might just have one lying around in your change. 2008 was a monumental year for the U.S. Quarter Series. As part of the United States Mint's 50-state quarters program, five unique quarters were released, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii. This was the last year of the state quarter program, which started in 1999. The quarters from this year are popular not just for their stunning designs but also because they mark the end of a very successful program that brought renewed interest to coin collecting. These coins bear the P-Mint mark, indicating that they were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. The Philadelphia Mint produced millions of these quarters, but it's not just any 2008 P-Quarter that's highly valuable. It's those with errors or unique characteristics that drive up the price for collectors. So what makes certain 2008 P quarters so valuable? It's all about errors. Collectors go wild for error coins, especially those with dramatic mistakes. Some common error types you should be looking for include die cracks, double dies, and off-center strikes. In fact, there have been reports of quarters with doubled images on the obverse or reverse sides. These types of errors can make a coin worth a small fortune. Now, let's get to the million-dollar question, literally. While no 2008 P quarter has officially sold for millions yet, certain varieties have reached very high prices at auctions. A coin with a rare combination of errors, a high grade from the professional coin grading service, and an uncirculated condition could potentially fetch an impressive sum. Coins like these attract collectors from around the world who are willing to pay top dollar. The better the condition, the higher the potential value. Look for coins that are uncirculated or show little to nowhere. Use a magnifying glass to inspect the details. Check for any doubled letters, unusual markings, or other errors on both the front and back of the coin. To maximize value, have your coin graded by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A higher grade can significantly increase the coin's worth. For a 2008 P quarter with typical errors, you could expect anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand, depending on its condition and rarity. However, rare error varieties could potentially go for six figures. Even if you don't have one of the extremely rare versions, these coins are still fantastic pieces of history to add to any collection. So, there you have it. The story behind the 2008 P quarter dollar and what makes it such an exciting find for coin collectors. Do you have one of these quarters at home? If so, it might be worth taking a closer look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and let us know in the comments what other coins you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! We're diving into the story behind the 2000D Mint Mark Washington Quarter which has been making waves in the coin-collecting world for its surprising history and jaw-dropping potential value. So, let's start with a bit of background. The 2000D Washington Quarter is part of the State Quarters Program, which was launched by the United States Mint from 1999 to 2008. These quarters were created to honor each of the 50 states, with unique designs on the reverse side. The quarters were issued in the order that the states joined the Union, and each was minted for about 10 weeks. In the year 2000, we saw quarters representing Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, and Virginia. The Denver Mint, which gives this quarter the D-Mint mark, produced millions of these quarters. 
However, there are some rare versions of this quarter that are worth way more than 25 cents, potentially even millions. So, what makes this quarter so special and potentially worth a fortune? First, let's talk about rare errors. Coin errors can significantly increase a coin's value, and the 2000D quarter has a few that have been highly sought after by collectors. Some of the most valuable errors include off-center strikes, double dies, and planchet errors. These types of errors happen when the minting process goes slightly awry, creating a unique coin that collectors can't resist. In addition to these, there are also certain high-grade versions of the 2000D quarter that have been perfectly preserved. If you have one that's in pristine condition, it could be worth significantly more than face value. Coins graded MS68 or higher, meaning they have few or no imperfections, are rare and could fetch a pretty penny at auction. Now you might be wondering, how could a 2000D quarter actually be worth millions? Well, there are some extreme cases where quarters have been sold at auctions for jaw-dropping prices. This usually happens when an era coin is also in top condition or has a unique historical significance. While it's rare, some examples of state quarters from this era have fetched over a million dollars, especially if there's something truly unique about the coin. The value also depends on the collector's demand. If a particular error is scarce or unique, it will be even more desirable, causing bidding wars among collectors and investors who want to own a piece of numismatic history. So, while not every 2000D quarter will be worth millions, a rare combination of errors, condition, and collector demand could send its value skyrocketing. Alright, so how can you tell if your 2000D quarter is the lucky one? First, take a close look at the quarter under a magnifying glass or a digital microscope. Check for any errors like double images on Washington's face or the lettering, signs of off-center strikes, or any unusual textures or shapes on the coin's surface. Next, evaluate the condition. Coins that look like they just came off the mint line, with sharp details, shiny luster, and no visible scratches, are what collectors look for. You can also consider sending your quarter to a professional coin grading service, like PCGS or NGC, to get an official grade. If you think you've struck gold with your 2000D quarter, the next step is to find a reputable buyer. You can check out coin auctions, both online and in person, or visit coin shows where collectors are often looking for unique finds. You might also want to list your coin on platforms like eBay or consult with coin dealers who can help you understand its value and potential. But remember, not all 2000D quarters are worth millions. The rare ones have special characteristics or high grades. So, be sure to do your research, consult with experts, and most importantly, enjoy the thrill of coin collecting. You never know what kind of treasure you might discover. We're diving into the fascinating world of a specific coin that you might just have in your pocket right now, the 1998 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. This seemingly ordinary coin could be hiding a history, a rarity, or an error that could make it worth a small fortune. First, let's set the stage. The 1998 Washington Quarter is a part of the long-running Washington Quarter series, which began back in 1932, honoring George Washington's 200th birthday. These quarters are minted by the United States Mint and carry distinctive marks indicating where they were made. For our coin today, the piece stands for the Philadelphia Mint. With millions of 1998 quarters made, you might think that these coins are all just your average 25 cents. But for collectors, certain factors can make a specific year and mint mark way more valuable than others. So, what makes the 1998 P quarter stand out? While most 1998 quarters are valued at their face value, some of these coins have a little secret. In the world of coin collecting, it's all about scarcity, unique errors, or high grades, meaning coins in near-perfect condition. Certain 1998 P quarters have rare errors or misprints, which can make them extremely desirable for collectors. One of the most sought-after traits that could make a 1998 P quarter valuable is a mint error. For instance, errors such as a double die, where images appear doubled due to a misalignment in the die, can turn an everyday coin into something far more valuable. Other errors, like an off-center strike or a rare die crack, have also been known to increase a coin's value dramatically. 
But the million-dollar jackpot? If a coin exhibits a rare combination of high-grade preservation and a significant error, that's where things get really interesting. Now, let's talk about coin grading. Grading is a system used to determine a coin's condition, with MS-70 being the highest grade possible. Most quarters in circulation will have minor wear, but finding a 1998 P in mint state, or better yet, a high MS-65 or MS-66 grade, could mean serious value. The higher the grade, the more rare it is to find. A 1998 P quarter with an exceptional grade, combined with one of these rare errors, could drive its value into the thousands, if not millions, depending on demand and rarity. All right, let's talk numbers. While a typical 1998 P quarter might fetch around $5 to $10 if it's in good shape, high-grade era coins have sold at auction for thousands. And here's the kicker. If you manage to find a 1998 P with a truly unique error in pristine condition, we're talking tens of thousands, potentially even millions at an auction. Yes, the right buyer, the right demand, and the right coin could make this quarter incredibly valuable. So, you might be wondering, do I have one of these valuable quarters in my collection? First, check for that P-Mint mark to confirm it's from Philadelphia. Then, take a closer look under a magnifying glass. Check for signs of doubling, off-center strikes, or any other unusual features. And if you think you've struck gold, consider sending your coin to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. These services can authenticate your coin, grade it, and provide documentation that could increase its value for potential buyers. Who knew that an ordinary 1998 P quarter could be worth so much? Whether you're a casual collector or an avid coin hunter, there's always a chance that you have a valuable piece of history right at your fingertips. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin stories. Let us know in the comments, what rare coins have you come across? We're diving into a truly fascinating coin, the 1974 S. Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar. You might be wondering, what makes this coin so special? Well, not only does it have an interesting history, but some of these coins are worth millions of dollars. So, let's get into it. First, let's talk about the history. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. The design you see today has undergone very few changes since then, making it one of the most recognized coins in American history. In 1974, the San Francisco Mint produced both proof and regular quarters. The 1974 S. Mint mark is particularly significant because it was struck during a time when the U.S. was experiencing significant economic challenges, including inflation and a rising cost of living. These coins were intended mainly for collectors and were produced in limited quantities. Now, let's look at the features of the 1974 S. Quarter Dollar. On the obverse, we see the classic profile of George Washington, while the reverse showcases the majestic eagle which is a symbol of American strength and pride. Point one key feature that collectors often look for is the coin's condition. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin can be. Coins graded at PR70, which are flawless and exhibit no imperfections, are incredibly rare. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the value. Depending on its condition, the 1974 S quarter dollar can be worth anywhere from a few dollars to a staggering sum. But hold on. There's even more to this story. Some rare era coins, such as those with double die strikes or off-center strikes, have been known to reach the millions. That's right, millions. So if you come across one of these beauties, it's worth having it appraised. So, there you have it. The 1974 S. Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is not just a piece of history. It could also be a valuable addition to your collection. Remember to check your coins for potential treasures, and if you find one of these stunning quarters, don't hesitate to get it appraised. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome coin content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you ever found a valuable coin? We'd love to hear your stories. We're talking about a very special 1992 Washington quarter with a P-Mint mark. This isn't just any quarter. Some versions of this coin have been known to fetch huge prices, millions even. 
Yes, you heard that right. So, grab your change jar and start searching because this could be your lucky day. First, let's talk a little history. The 1992 Washington Quarter is part of a series that started in 1932 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. This quarter's design, by John Flanagan, has become iconic over the years. But the 1992 version with the Philadelphia Mint mark, denoted by the P, is one that collectors have their eyes on for more than just its patriotic symbolism. The P Mint mark on this coin tells us that it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which began using this mint mark on quarters in 1980. But what makes the 1992 P. Washington quarter so valuable? Let's find out. Now, not every 1992 P. Washington quarter is worth millions. The high-value coins are rare varieties or error coins that collectors are willing to pay big bucks for. One of the most famous rare versions is known as the Close AM error. This type of coin features a unique variation on the reverse side. Specifically, the letters in America appear closer together than they normally should. This error is extremely rare and highly sought after. Finding a close AM quarter in your pocket change could mean you're looking at thousands, if not millions, of dollars. In 1992, Philadelphia minted millions of quarters, but only a very small number are thought to exhibit this error. One of these rare versions, in mint condition, has been valued by collectors at over a million dollars, thanks to its rarity and condition. Okay, so how do you identify if your 1992 P quarter is one of these super rare versions? Here are some quick tips to check your quarter. Check for a clear P on the front of the coin, near Washington's ponytail. Use a magnifying glass to see if the AM in America is closer together. This variation can be subtle, so look closely. The value increases dramatically if the coin is in pristine or uncirculated condition. Look for minimal wear, crisp details, and a shiny surface. If you believe you've got a potential close AM quarter, consider getting it authenticated by a professional grading service. They can give you a definitive answer and possibly open the door to a life-changing auction. Coin collectors go crazy for this type of quarter because it combines history, rarity, and the excitement of finding something valuable in everyday change. The 1992 P. Washington Quarter is a true gem for any collector, and because of its potential high value, it has become a legendary find among U.S. coinage. We're diving into a fascinating piece of American history, the 1960 Washington Quarter Dollar with no mint mark. Believe it or not, these coins can be worth millions of dollars. Stick around to learn why. The Washington Quarter has been a staple of American currency since 1932, commemorating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. By 1960, this iconic quarter was already a familiar sight in the pockets of Americans across the country. But what makes the 1960 Washington Quarter without a mint mark so special? First, let's talk about the design. These quarters were crafted with 90% silver and 10% copper a composition that remained standard until 1965. On the front, you have the classic profile of George Washington. On the back, you'll find the beautiful American eagle perched on a bundle of arrows, symbolizing strength and independence. But if you look closely, you'll notice there's no mint mark on these coins. That's because, in 1960, quarters minted in Philadelphia didn't carry a mint mark, unlike quarters from Denver or San Francisco. So, if you see a 1960 quarter without a mint mark, it likely came from the Philadelphia Mint. So, what makes a 1960 no mint mark quarter potentially worth millions? Well, it all boils down to a few key factors, rarity, demand, and condition. High-grade 1960 quarters, especially those in mint-state condition or with unique errors, can fetch significant amounts at auction. Some rare varieties or coins graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC have sold for thousands, and in exceptional cases, even millions. Now, a standard 1960 Washington quarter in circulated condition might be worth its weight in silver, around a few dollars. But for those rare, pristine specimens or quarters with errors, like doubled dyes or other anomalies, the value skyrockets. Collectors and experts pay close attention to coins with errors, as these unique imperfections make them incredibly valuable. 
Imagine finding one of these rare treasures hidden in your collection. It could be life-changing. If you think you have a 1960 No Mint Mark Quarter that could be worth big bucks, get it professionally graded and appraised. Services like PCGS and NGC specialize in coin grading and can give you an official assessment of your coin's value. So, there you have it, folks. The 1960 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter may seem ordinary, but it holds a world of potential value for collectors. If you're lucky enough to come across one in mint condition or with a unique error, you could be looking at a small fortune. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of Washington Quarters, focusing on the 1969 No Mint Mark Quarter. Yes, you heard that right. Some of these coins have been known to fetch a whopping price tag, even millions. But what makes this coin so valuable? Stick around as we break down the history, key features, and what to look for to find a fortune in your spare change. First, let's take a quick look at the history. The Washington Quarter was introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. By 1969, this iconic coin had become a staple in American currency. During this era, most coins were minted at one of three main facilities, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, Philadelphia quarters were commonly produced without a mint mark, which is why our 1969 coin doesn't show one. The obverse, or front, of the coin displays a profile of George Washington, and the reverse features the iconic eagle design, which had been used on quarters since the coin's inception. Though 1969 quarters were made from a copper nickel blend, no longer containing silver, some specific coins from this year have caught the attention of collectors worldwide. So, what's the deal with the 1969 No Mint Mark Quarter? Why are people saying it could be worth a fortune? The answer lies in rare mint errors and condition. Mint errors occur when something goes wrong during the minting process. A famous error for the 1969 quarter is the double die obverse. This means that parts of the design, like the date and lettering, appear doubled, creating a striking visual effect. These errors are rare and highly sought after by collectors. The doubling is typically most noticeable on the date, and the words liberty, and in God we trust. If you happen to spot doubling on your 1969 quarter, you may just have a gem in your hand. But remember, not every coin with wear or odd marks is a valuable error. True double die errors are verified by professional coin graders who carefully assess the coin's authenticity and condition. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The condition of the coin plays a massive role in its value. Coins in near-perfect condition, often graded as MS65 or higher, can fetch a premium price. However, if a 1969 no mint mark quarter has a prominent mint error and is in exceptional condition, that's when the value skyrockets. These double die error coins have been known to sell for tens of thousands, even millions of dollars at auction. That's right, a single quarter could potentially pay off your mortgage, or more. Why? Because serious collectors will pay top dollar for a rare well-preserved piece of American history. For example, a particularly pristine 1969 double-die quarter fetched a jaw-dropping amount at auction, as its rarity and condition drove collectors into a bidding frenzy. Look at the date, liberty, and in God we trust. You're looking for clear doubling. If the details are slightly offset, you might have a winner. Wear and tear can reduce value, but even circulated coins with strong doubling are valuable. However, if you happen to find one in uncirculated or mint state condition, you could be holding something truly special. Get the coin graded by a professional. This will confirm if it's a genuine error coin and will provide an official grade, increasing its appeal to serious collectors. The 1969 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter could indeed be worth millions, especially if it has that sought-after double die error. It just goes to show you that even pocket change can hold hidden treasures. If you have a 1969 quarter, it's worth a second look. You never know what you might find. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more coin collecting tips and rare coin features. Happy hunting, and we'll see you in the next video. We're talking about a Washington quarter that might just blow your mind. The 1980p mint mark Washington quarter dollar. 
Could this coin in your pocket be worth millions? Let's find out. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. The 1980p quarter itself might look like any other at first glance, but there's a unique story behind these coins minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Let's start by discussing its history and how it fits into the evolution of the Washington Quarter. Initially made with 90% silver, Washington Quarters transitioned to a copper nickel clad composition in 1965. By 1980, these quarters were being produced in massive quantities due to the rising demand for coins in circulation. The Philadelphia Mint alone produced over 635 million quarters that year. While many 1980p quarters are in circulation, there are a few rare varieties and errors that make certain coins highly sought after by collectors. Errors such as doubled dies, off-center strikes, or misaligned dies can fetch impressive prices. If you find one in pristine condition, you're in luck. A rare error could increase its value exponentially. Now, let's talk about why some 1980 quarters are worth so much. Although the average 1980p quarter may only be worth its face value, uncirculated coins or those with rare errors can reach values into the thousands, sometimes even millions if the error is exceptionally rare. How do you know if your 1980p quarter is valuable? First, check its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, or MS-70. The closer your coin is to a mint state 70, the more it's worth. The highest graded 1980p quarters, especially with unique errors, are the ones that can reach those eye-popping million-dollar price tags. In recent years, auctions have seen highly graded, rare Washington quarters reach unprecedented prices. Coin collectors and investors are willing to pay a premium for the most pristine examples or rare error coins. Could your 1980p quarter be next on the auction block? So, how can you tell if your quarter is one of the valuable ones? Start by examining the coin for any noticeable errors or unique features. A magnifying glass can help you spot any doubling on the date or mint mark. Also, pay attention to its overall shine and lack of wear. A coin that looks like it just left the mint is likely to be more valuable. Finding a rare coin is like uncovering a piece of history. So, if you've got a 1980p quarter lying around, take a closer look. You might just be holding on to something extraordinary. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin discoveries. Who knows? Maybe the next coin we feature will be one sitting in your collection right now.